Okay, so by now, I hope all of you guys have watched Peter McKinnon's Bucket Shot film. It is such a good film. It is such a good narrative film that all of you guys should actually definitely watch it. So we started the video with a very different kind of an intro. So in this particular video, in this particular tutorial, I'm going to cover that intro which Peter McKinnon showed in the starting of the Bucket Shot film. And doing this is pretty simple. All you need to do is have a VHS template which is there in the download link below and the font impact level which Peter McKinnon used. There are two versions of the font, one the normal one and one the reverse of the font. And the best feature of this particular font is that it automatically makes a rectangle, the white rectangle and you don't need to have a, another rectangle and then place the font over that rectangle and then compound the clip. This font automatically generates that rectangle. It is like a part of the font only. So that is the reason Peter McKinnon used it. And how did he find this particular font? How does Peter McKinnon or all the other filmmakers find this particular fonts which are so good? The answer is pretty simple. The answer for Peter McKinnon to find this particular font is Unfold. What is Unfold? Unfold is an application which is used to make Instagram stories. Most of you already know that. So how did you find it in Unfold? In Unfold there is a test option. In the test option there are many fonts which are very different and very unique. And in that particular area where you add the text, he saw that particular font which is impact level which can be bought on a subscription on Unfold. So he saw that font, he saw how cool it looks, he saw how different it is and then downloaded it from the website. The font is in the download link below, I have given both the fonts in the download link below. You can use it in a commercial project as well, there is no harm in that. And that is pretty much it. And that is how Peter McKinnon or all these other filmmakers or YouTubers find these particular fonts. The apps are the keys. So with that being said, this is a long tutorial so I'll jump right into it. What's up guys, Mr. Sammy here. Welcome to a new video. I hope you guys are having a great day. And with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so here we have three clips. These are the VHS effects which is there in a the download link below. Now drag all of them on top of another and remove all the extra portions. Go to the top one, go to the opacity, change the blending mode to screen and go to the top one. Go to the opacity and change the blending mode to screen as well. Now we are going to see the combination of all the three layers at once. Now we are going to nest this particular clip. Now we are going to copy this clip on top of this clip only. And we are going to nest all of them together. Now if you want to increase the effects of this particular glitchy effect, then you can copy this clip as well. But you can just add the text, so that's what I'm going to do now. Change the font to impact level. The download link to the font is in the link below only. You can just simply download it. And then write pixel Sammy right here. And then another title effect with impact level reversed as font, which is there in the download link as well. And then write hello or whatever you feel like. So I'm going to nest both of these clips together. And then move them into the center of the frame. And then I'm going to nest both of these clips together. You could have actually nested both of them together before only but as I've forgotten you can just do it right now. So this is the main footage. I want to just reduce the timeline just a little bit because it is a bit too long. And then now what we are going to do is we are going to add some amount of shake into this particular footage. But as there is no proper way to add shades, all you can do is add a keyframe to the position. Go to an S frame, change the Y of the keyframe to 355, like only 5 less. And then go to an S frame, change it back to 360. Go to next frame, change it back to 355. Go to next frame, change it back to 360. Go to next frame and change it back to 355 and keep on doing this as long as you feel like. And at the end of a day, you will get a jittery kind of effect.
now we're going to add some amount of motion blur into this footage just like Peter McKinnon. So go to the effects panel, type in blur, go down, go to blur and sharpen, drag the direction blur onto the slip and then set a keyframe to the blur length, go to an S frame, change the blur length to whatever you feel like. It is up to you how much you want to place the blur amount and keep the direction at zero only, like change it at 90 but it is not needed and go to an S frame again and change the blur length back to zero. So it is zero, 70, zero. And this is something which you can copy and do it several times in this particular clip so that it looks better and with proper sound effect it looks really really good. So 0, 70, 0 keyframing, that is it. You can do it as many times as you feel like. And then what we are going to do is we are going to add another blur effect, the similar blur effect which I just showed right now behind this particular title effect. Just like Peter McKinnon where you saw that there was a white title effect, white blurry title effect behind that particular main title. So that is what we are going to do. So cut that particular position where you just keyframed the blur amount because we want to copy that particular effect from that particular position. So this is that particular position where you copied that and drag the below layer above it. And here you can see that there are two layers. One which is copied and one which is the in the below. One which is copied and one which is in the below. Now I have changed the size of the scale for the lower one just a little bit more like around 200%. Just make sure that a blurry title, the blurry title which is scaled up to a little bit more is at the background and the main title is in the center. So that is pretty much it, that is how you do it and add that blurry layer several times into the slip and with proper sound effects and proper sound design and music, this is the final result. Thank you so much for watching guys, hope you liked my video. So if you are into cinematography, filmmaking, videography and photography then my channel is just for you and if you like my kind of content and if you like the stuff I do in my channel, the free stuff, the transitions, the plugins, the alerts, the tutorials and all this other stuff then please please subscribe to my channel and make sure that the push notification button is turned on so that you guys can see every time I make a new video. So let's just join our hands and make this family, make this community as big as we can. And if you have any kinds of doubts for the videos, for the later videos, for the future videos or any kind of suggestion or any kind of talk you want to have with me then you can follow me on Instagram at this particular link and I will definitely definitely reply to you as soon as I get the message or see the message. So with that being said thank you so much for watching guys and do let me know in the comment down below about what you guys are creating today about what you guys are creating with my kind of tutorials and all this other stuff. So please please keep on creating and hustle and with that being said peace.